And <laughs> just so you just so you don't think I'm making this up. This side is called matter of fact, let me see. Yeah. There it is. I don't know if you can see it. But if you can't, the side is called what did you miss dot com what did you miss dot com published something that said um published something that says i'm looking at the pubic area of an individual with a tattoo that says hiv plus or hiv positive and it says a law was recently passed that says all hiv positive people would be marked near their genitals okay <laughs> my question immediately is this i can't go in the gym right now i gotta give this five minutes up to this all hiv positive people would be marked near their genitals i swear to god i'm reading it right here from my computer from my um, phone i don't know if you can see it but go to whatdidyoumiss.com because that is where it's coming from and it's flashing across my Facebook timeline. All HIV positive people will be marked near their genitals with the sign that says HIV plus. I, I don't know how to feel about this because first of all, the person that has an HIV plus on them is a black person. And I could tell by the damn pubic hair and the dark complexion of the skin that it's a black person. Anyways, above and beyond that, let's get to this. So they mark you HIV positive and a year later a cure is found. Do they plan to remove the tattoo free of charge with no scarring? Um, or are you gonna have to tattoo over it? Are, are we going to start marking everyone with a sickness now with a tattoo that says what their sickness is? For instance, the mentally ill would be tattooed on their forehead saying mentally ill. Um, the cancer patient would be tattooed somewhere on their body saying cancer. Uh, the list goes on. Is that what it's come to? Is that what it's going to be? My SoFlo TV people, I want you to take a look at this. I have not read the story. I'm not claiming to have read the story and come to a full understanding of anything. I'm just showing you how things get around, how word get around and things get misconstrued and people run off with whatever they think is the truth. I'm seeing this and there's nothing, I can't get to the site from here right now, but it does give me a link. What did you miss.com that just posted saying all HIV positive people would be marked near their genitals. I want you to like, comment, share, subscribe, and tell me what you think about this. There it is. It says it right here again. All HIV positive people would be marked near their genitals. Hmm. Stories that you missed. I don't know. Okay. And now that I'm at the site, it says this is in South Africa. President Zuma signed a bill that seems to be the greatest step in history for trying to combat HIV. From now on, every person who gets tested and found to be HIV, HIV positive would not just get counseling and medication, they would also get a mark in the form of a tattoo near their genital according to the bill signed by the president. The mark is to protect those who can't say no to sex. I mean, if you can't read between the lines, you should read between the legs because that's where the status will be tatted. <laughs> and there's more. There's much more here to read on it. My phone finally let me get through to it. So um, I guess there aren't any white people in uh, South Africa with HIV. 
So they had to use a black person to do it. And again, that's neither here nor there. But when since was it okay to tattoo someone's... And then again, given... And now that I've read more into it and I've seen that, I'll say this. Uh, the society is set up in such a way in Africa that the women... The man pretty much the man pretty much says what it is. If he's going to have sex with a woman, she can suggest that he puts on a condom in some cultures, but and remember Africa is a continent, it's not a country. So there are many different cultures and some men cross cultures because they go outside of where they live to work and whatever and meet up with people of different cultures. But when they come home to their wife and their wife is the submissive type and he wants to have sex with her, the, her only answer is yes. Or she doesn't even answer. She just does what he says, which means take your clothes off and open your legs, pretty much. So, with that said, this would give her a choice and put her in a knowing because there are a lot of women that have lost their lives because their husband went and contracted HIV um, and came back and gave it to them and she was just being a good you know house mom taking care of the kids in the household and whatever and then she lost her life to, to AIDS so I guess now that I've read more into it I mean it could be argued from many angles either way I'd like to hear your comments and your thoughts on this should a person with HIV be tattooed HIV positive on their genital area to warn others who they have not warned that this person you're about to have sex with is HIV positive and will infect you with the disease. It's SoFlo TV. I'm about to go get some workout done. Um, have a good one. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'm out of here. Peace.